where we are discussing the Congress party. It's got, with its allies, about 260 seats. Most of us believe it needs about 300, not in the short term. It needs 272, obviously, to pass the confidence vote, which it will do easily. But to run a smooth government, you need a cushion. How does it get there? Does, does from the left point of view, does a party like the Congress need a cushion at all to function for five years? Now they have uh, number and uh, nobody is going to question their uh, To get through the them. confidence, no problem. Uh, so the, they can run the government. But uh, coming back to certain issues which we discussed, right. uh, this uh, Mamta Banerjee's victory, Yes, uh, it is true she has gained. But uh, I doubt very much whether she has any agenda. If she has an agenda, I don't uh, see it as a positive one. As far as the setback of the left in Bengal is concerned, it is uh, more uh, due to anti-incumbency because the left front is in power for more than three decades and uh, the Bengal is moving from one stage of development to other stage of development. Right. The question of land acquisition, then uh, the question of industrial development, whether left front government was capable of articulating it properly and convincing people. They, these are all matters which we are no, going when to... When you say she doesn't have an agenda, what do you mean? Mamta Banerjee uh, doesn't have uh, an agenda. What positive agenda she placed before the people of Bengal? She no, was... Coherent, she doesn't have a positive she was, agenda. She, no she coherent was, agenda. She was, right. was opposing. You are trying very, to block a lot of the capitalist no, programs. I am coming, coming, coming back to the one other issue. The, as far as reforms of UPA government uh, concerned, People think uh, the left uh, had uh, confrontation with government only on nuclear deal. No. We were having confrontations on several macro level policies, particularly economic policies. And now you leave it to Mamta Banerjee to carry that no, on. You think no, Mamta no, no, Banerjee no, will be, what you I, think she is further to the left I'm, than you are in some areas. Yeah. What I am saying, it is not for Mamta Banerjee. I think the new UPA will move more towards right wing. That is my point. The reforms will be more neoliberal reforms and the people will uh, um, because, see so the new uh, character of a new UPA. What about what Veer said that he believes no, I that don't the agree Congress with president Mr. Raja that the yeah. new UPA or the continuation of the UPA government, uh, the second term of Dr. Manmohan Singh is going to move towards the right or any such thing. Uh, as Mr. Raja knows, we had a common minimum program last time which was prop primarily the priorities in each one of our respective manifestos and it was the common minimum program which drove us through the five years of governance. And I quite agree with Veer. Maybe you heard Rahul Gandhi this evening after the counting was over in Uttar Pradesh. He spoke of an agenda of what we would uh, as a uh, party uh, expect from the alliance government is pro-poor policies. Actually, Things, at the press conference he said that's what they had in common. That was the meeting ground. No, that's exactly what he said, that the young and the vulnerable, economically and otherwise socially vulnerable people are those who voted for the Congress. But, Ambika, and it's for them Ambika, that we Ambika, A lot of work. people are expecting, though, that without the left or having to worry about the left, you will actually push ahead with some of the reforms that NK was talking about. Maybe not all of them, but some of them. NK, are you saying I, you're not I, intending to do I, that? No, no, I, 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 I was uh, yeah, agreeing with him. NK here, yes. Yeah, Amika, you know, I entirely agree with this interpretation of yours because, you know, to some extent this word neoliberal has acquired a pejorative connotation instead of yes. a descriptive connotation yes, exactly. because there is a whole slew of reforms, particularly take the case of the education yes, sector. I was saying that myself. I mean, the National Knowledge Commission absolutely. under Sam Petroda had absolutely. made far-reaching recommendations. Absolutely. Who blocked it? It's the, it couldn't go through, no need to blame the left, it didn't go through the cabinet approval within the Congress party. Well, there are... No, no. So what I mean is that there is a whole slew of reforms outside merely reforms of the financial and banking sector, Absolutely. which is going to have direct benefit to quality I of the life of the poor, no, and we need to pursue that. I think, but I think... No, no, but I think they are on our agenda.